Remove a card with 100 red gold or a random rare relic. Mmm. Thanks to be a random rare relic, baby. Although we like the golds. Nah, we gotta do this. Yeah, that's good. It's pretty good. We'll go for the sparkle with that. Uh, do you want to go sparkle? Do, do you think we can do it? This, this path is pretty good. We got three upgrades, four upgrades, and we have uh, elite, elite. Here we get the sparkle in a shop. But I don't think sparkle that early is going to be the best choice. What's up, DJ? Uh, I, I, didn't, I wasn't able to use my computer as consistently for streaming, and also uh, I was just kind of like... I don't know why. Damn. I forgot about the buffer. You thought that was a good run? I don't know. I mean, the fact that I wasn't able to beat the tentacle. The run was, the run was okay. Oh, come on. Really? Oh my god, I'm getting... Nah, it's, it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. It happens. Mmm, piercing. Mm hmm. And so it's a new setup. So right now I'm actually in a different setup, which is why it looks like this. And that's why the acoustics might be not be the same. Like my mic's not is not is not the same quality. So right now this is gonna be temporary. But at least we're here streaming, and we'll be able to stream consistently and have different hours as well. Did I say that? Is that something I said? Solitaire is probably why I look solitaire so much? My god. I said that? That's embarrassing. Ah, uh, these are some weird options. I'm doing well, man. I'm doing good. The jack attack. Hope you're doing well. Hope you, hope you get whatever's going on with you. you get through it. Artifact drafts later, maybe Shanzo, how you doing? Hey, you're awkward choices, huh? Can we do blade dance just for some more damage? You think I build the silent wrong? Hmm. I think my decks on the silent end up being alright. I think the biggest problem with me is the, the pilot issues. I like sometimes I die when I shouldn't. Like, I like Terror. And we could take Accuracy because we have Blade Dance now, but that feels weird, right? W wouldn't we rather remove? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, 88 gold is perfect for accuracy. It's a perfect amount of gold. It's kind of tempting, right? It's kind of prophetic. But taking an accuracy this early, I don't know. I, I think I'd rather move strikes. So if we can... Nice. Nice. That's... N Ooh, okay. This is... Mmm. 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 Hmm. This could be something. Perpetual with the... Tier one, eight months in a row. Welcome back, buddy. Eight months. How you doing? More blade dance? Nah, we'll take a backstab. This could be. A, this could have been a blade dance deck. Think we can handle the elite? I don't know. We got terror, some blade dance, and a backstab, and a dream. Most importantly, a dream. If it's the gremlin love, I think fossilized helix would do pretty well, but. I don't think we have enough damage for the gremlin. I think we skip here. Deck's not quite there yet. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, let's go. You know what? I'm taking accuracy. You know what? Fuck it. I'm doing it, boys. Can't tell me otherwise. Watch that be the last shift card I get. Calipers? Okay. Why? I got such good relics and I ruined it with an accuracy pickup. I'm trolling. I'm doing it. Ah, uh, no. Not this one. This is the worst one. I don't want this. No, no, no. Not like this. Ah, uh, not like this. 
Phantasmal. Ooh. If only I knew that was going to be a thing. Burst would have been better. Oh my god, Phantasmal got wasted. And now that's in my deck. Oh, come on. Why? On a turn where I need to do damage? Are you serious? Oh, that kills us, guys. On a turn where I need to do damage, we didn't get anything. Oh, that kills us, guys. I should have striked. The one block was not worth it. I should have striked. What am I doing? Okay. Fantastic. Save those. Mango, nice. Deflect. Okay, well, we got that elite out of the way. I don't think we can do another one. Unless we get a region pie here. Unless we get a region, I don't think we can do another one. This is awkward. Catalyst? Tools of the trade? Do you like tools of the trade? Uh, I think we can handle it. I mean, I think that our damage is pretty good. If it's Gremlin, we do pretty good damage with the uh, Terror Blade Dance. Triple Sentry might be a problem. Yo, Snoisiv12 with the tier 1. Welcome, buddy. Thank you for the support. Welcome to the germ pool. Skip that elite. Meat in the bone is probably one of the best relics on the silent. Just in general. Green bone is so good. That's mm, block champ. Some pog champ relic right there. It's a lot of awkward cards, right? Like accuracy, terror, tools of trade. These are a lot of awkward cards. Yeah, man, I, I do. I have played Artifact. I played it very briefly. I played Artifact very briefly. Um, we did it, the first stream. We did Artifact. We did a draft, and we got, got the three wins, and then we had to leave. But we can do some Artifact drafts. Although I, I'm kind of curious to grind some MTG. <laughs> okay, now we can do Calculate Gamble. Or we can just sucker punch. I think we want to get into our late dance as often as possible. That's how we're going to win. So it's important that I think I do tool calculate gamble so I can get my blade dance as often as possible, right? So we just want to like. Um, yeah, we just want to keep cycling our deck until we get to that blade dance. Rinse, repeat. You know what I mean? So like, let's say we block, and we hopefully get Blade Dance again, right? Okay. We got Calipers? No, we don't, but... I should have saved my energy. Ah, I should save energy. If I don't get Calipers, I should save energy. Whoopsies. But yeah, we got Blade Dance again. That's 39 damage every time we hit that. So I'm saving the energy, but there's no point in this situation. So here we want to get Blade Dance again, right? Oh, that's awkward. Oh no, that's really awkward. No, I should have blocked first. I'm so silly. That's so awkward. That's really awkward. Jesus.
I think we got this. Lance, please. I need you. I should have just done the full block again. I don't know why I keep doing that. At this point, there's so many burns that I can't, I can't afford doing that. Uh, we're okay, but I should have just blocked there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, Blade Dance. Oh, close. Close. Okay, adrenaline data die on load. Uh, interesting. I think data die is some good AOE. We don't really we need that AOE, but this also adrenaline is not bad just to kind of get our powers out and have better turns. Like we have we have some powers that are kind of awkward that if we have adrenaline to kind of counteract that. But data die is pretty good as well. What's up, pancake time? You're also giving more blade dance. Yeah, but I think just getting all that stuff out. Yeah, I think getting all that stuff out, all these powers out, is the why I'm picking up adrenaline. Okay, this is awkward. Give him strength or get less cards. I feel like we need to see cards, but we have meat in the bone, so maybe we don't mind the one extra strength because we can heal it up. I mean, one extra change is pretty rough, though. On a lot of fights. I think we can manage... So, let's see what we get here. Let's see what manage we get, what cards we manage to get. I think we can manage to elite if we just get some... Some more Blade Dance, I suppose. This is gonna hurt. I hope it got on the right attacks first. Feels bad. It's usually left to right. Come on, Blade Dance, where you at? Uh, I don't wanna risk. I don't wanna risk him um, not dying. Uh, we don't have enough damage without Blade Dance. I don't think we can handle this. I guess we could do this. Maybe we get Blade Dance again and win. Nope. Yeah, the deck is suffering a little bit. We have Ice Cream. We need, we need a way to make Ice Cream come to life. Quick Stash helps us get more cards played with Ice Cream, right? Like, we use all our energy more often. Slice Plus is nice. But I think Quick Slash with Ice Cream helps us get play more cards out. Who's the boss? Hmm. I mean, Riddle with uh, Terror is not bad. It's expensive. I think I'd rather do something like Slice or Quick Slash. Slice is pretty nice. Slice is pretty nice. Freestyling. I need more card draw. Yes, yeah, so I need more card draw to help with the ice cream. And I think the slice will go well with more, getting more card draw. And Shiro would help as well. But I think Quick Slash allows us to use ice cream and play more cards. I think. So I think Quick Slash is a better play. But I think Slice could become better if I get some more card draw and maybe get some more. Um, a way to dump the ice cream. Riddle is when we have ice cream. I mean, it is some front loader damage. I think that would help us out. But I think slice as well. Terror is pretty pretty good as well. I'm gonna take the slicer. I, I like it. I think it's potential to be, become better. But turns like that were all attacks. That could be that could be deadly.
I got the. Nah, I don't. I'd rather not take the damage. I mean, if I can get the deck. So back looks pretty nice, right? But if I can get the deck down. Upgrade is. Uh, that's a lot of upgrades. If I, if I can get the deck down small so I can just get Blade Dance more often, I'm pretty happy with that. Or Corpse Explosion is insane. Corpse Explosion is so nutty. Uh, I got. I gotta buy Corpse Explosion. That's a really good card. I have to. I mean, pretty good in this collector as well. Yeah, we gotta buy that. It's instant pick for me. Oh, Corpse Explosion is actually really good in this fight. Corpse Explosion is actually really good in this fight. Wait a second, if I can manage to get this guy low enough and get Corpse Explosion? Wait. Wait, I'm... I'm gonna leave him up because I want to get Corpse Explosion. And then maybe we can do the Gremlin now with Corpse Explosion. I overblocked. Lol. Corpse, where you at? There you are. Alright. So then maybe we can get Gremlin here. I mean, do you think we can... If we can get... If we can get Corpse early... And then we just burst one of the gremlins down. I think we can do this, but we need to get grem We need to get corpse. We got the corpse early. We need now. We need the terror. Now we just need terror and blade dance. the bone here blade dance please easy so I got me in the bone and I got pantograph incense burner 100 gold stereo pot and cloak and dagger which is a block and gives me more shivs at a boy at a boy corpse explosion MVP that just got me buy a construction at the shop got me two relics I got Panagraph and Instant Burner from buying for at the shop. Right, we're gonna go for Sparkle. Ooh, we get Strength on the first turn. We can transform two cards. I don't mind transforming two strikes. Maybe get some more um, shift cards, or maybe just get more block. Or we can get Jax. Nah, Jax is never a play, right? It's never a thing. It's never a thing, right? Is it? It's never a thing. I think we just take the, the Relic. You gotta go. Hey, take care, J-Man. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Get jaxed. <clears throat> I mean, we had me in the bone, but um, it also doesn't work well with Fossilized Helix. Instance Burner is so good. Jesus Christ. I think I'm gonna go for the Relic here. Because it works well with Artifacts. I'm gonna go for another Elite as well. Feeling pretty good. Story pot first turn. Let's do it. Nineteen damage with this. Try to find another attack. Guys. Easy peasy. I mean, this is just more damage. Oh my god. Who Who is this? Toxic Egg? Who is this? So, Dinah Dye is just really good. Uh, it's really good. But, that's a Backflip Plus or Escape Plan Plus? I mean, Backflip Plus works for extremely well with Ice Cream. Since we have Ice Cream, we want card draw. Revival, how you doing, man? It has been a while. How you doing? It can be used to proc me in the bone as well, but it also doesn't work well. It doesn't work well with uh, Fossil Ice but I do see Jax proc me in the bone. That could be... And getting strength is really nice as well. I mean, 
I kind of want to try Jax. It's too late now, but I think Jax would be interesting with me and the bone to heal up. And then having that strength could be pretty nutty. Is Beatrice still coming around? I, I think Beatrice has been busy. He's been busy um, with his girlfriend, school, university. And um, he's been playing a game called Stellaris. So I haven't seen him in some time. He, he, he did come around the other day, but I also haven't been around for a couple weeks, so I haven't seen him or anybody. That guy is pretty good for Corpus Legend, yeah. I think it's a good one of to have. Question card was Toxic Egg. So we talked about how Corpus Legend is a little awkward here. But it could give me what I need to just get enough damage. Um, to burst out the Shell Parasite. Hmm. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go pull all my damage on the Shell Parasite. I don't want to take damage here. But I have me in the bones. So I guess it's fine. I guess I could just use my Fossilized Helix now. I might take a little bit of damage. I mean, yeah, it's fine. I, li I like um, Paradox. I the Surviving Mars was a game that I enjoyed. You've been spamming Snipe, snipe still? You have examined in three, three days? <laughs> I, see, I see that you're on Snipe a lot. You, 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 I mean, it's, it's MOBA, man, so those, those games are addictive. I don't blame you. Backstab plus Crippling Cloud, Skewer Flechettes. So, Skewer is Ice Cream and Terror. Like, that seems pretty no-brainer, right? It would suck to get rid of all my energy sometimes, but also there are times where you want to, like... You want to go for that big play with Ice Cream. Obviously, Backstab plus with the... Uh, Metagenic Strength is not bad. But Skewer Ice Cream is pretty clutch. I mean, Crippling Cloud Weaken is not bad either. I need more Weaken, and I need, the Poison works well with Corpse Explosion. I have enough damage. You think I have enough damage without the Skewer? I like Crippling Cloud here. So we already have the Slaver, so this could be Book of Stabbing, or this could be the um, Gremlin Leader. I think Crippling Clash is pretty good against Gremlin Leader. I think Skewer against Book of Stabbing could be what I need to get the big kill, though. There you go, Subdali. Five months and big boy. Look at that. Alright, so Provide, did you tell me that you are going to like try to go pro smite or something? Or like, you have a semi-pro team? <clears throat> Do we skip skewer here? Um, what's gonna be good for later on? Y yeah, wait, look, try again, look. Yeah, that's a really cool command. I want the command on every ch every channel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We also have calipers. We're not really playing around calipers. We we'll do corpse explosion. I mean, we're gonna do crippling cloud here. One second. So now I kind of wish I had skewer, right? Uh. So we can always get skewer afterwards. This is okay. I'm try I'm gonna be greedy. I'm not gonna rest because I want to get me in the bone. Upgrading this is not bad because all I keep the energy no matter what. I want to do sparkle. So if I if I rest, I'll do sparkle with the rest. But I maybe I can do sparkle without resting. 
Yeah, face games out for a sec. Oh, look at that. You, could, you might try, you can get close, but a lot of these scrimmers can probably throw my ass, probably survive and but that might be aggressive place. I mean, the thing is, what you can do is, um, you can learn and adjust. So if you go against these guys, you uh, will get better. If you go against better opposition. And if you have the talent, you can probably get better quickly. Um, yeah, right now, Necronomicon is really awkward in our deck. It works well with Skewer, but we don't have Skewer yet. I mean, I want to do Sparkle because I don't want to do it on Act 3. Because I don't want to have to, like... This is a pretty ideal place to have this because it's right... It's, like, towards the end of the Act. And I don't want to be forced into doing Act 3. This is awkward. Proving cards gonna be pretty clutch. I'm actually gonna do this. Our damage is insane right right now. I, if only if I can get a skewer with this Necronomicon, I think we can just have a crazy amount of damage. Uh, wait, that's 24 damage with Corpse Explosion? 24 plus... Well, Corpse Explosion is insane! Oh my god, what a perfect fight! And I rested! So much for resting. I mean, how, who's gonna know that was gonna be that... Good fat, right? Dagger throw? Prepared heal hook. Ah... Uh, prepare help manage the curses and dig for some cards. I think Dagger Throw could be okay. I think we like the deck that it is. I want to get into Blade Dance and Cloak and Dagger as often as possible, so I want to keep the deck small. Because I think Blade Dance and Cloak and Dagger are my best cards right now for damage. So I'm going to skip. Look at Terror first. That can be right. Maybe you unfollowed at some point. Maybe you unfollowed at some point. That, that happens. You got tired of me for a day and you're like, you unfollowed me. And then you got, you know what, I, I regret that. And then you followed back. Oh, Necronomicon, hello. Blur, outmaneuver, outmaneuver with ice cream is insane. I love outmaneuver of ice cream. The problem is I don't have a way to dump it. I don't have. Well, this is the, for some reason that camera looks all bright, right? So outmaneuver is insane. Uh, ice cream, but um, do we take that and hope that we get like card draw to start utilizing the energy of card draw and maybe doing like uh, big malazers and skewer? I think we take. We take the album maneuver and hope that we start getting some card draw and, and stuff like that. Obviously, Blur helps you get more consistent defense. Album maneuver is going to be a dead card right now against the boss. But if we can just get card draw, this becomes pretty insane. I think right now, for the boss, we should probably take Blur, right? It helps get calipers going. But album maneuver is very good with ice cream later on. And we could upgrade here, or we could just get the recall, get it out of the way. Let's get the recall out of the way. Hope that we have enough damage for the boss. 
I want to save the Crippling Cloud. It's kind of an awkward turn because I don't want to play any of this stuff. I want to save it for AoE. I want to save this for... Um... I don't know. I just, I just want to save my energy. I'd rather save the energy here. Although, Cloak and Dagger was pretty worth it because of Mugenic Strength. Ah, this is good. Huh. Kaka, the game is awkward here. Well, that's a pretty rough turn, huh? Pretty rough turn. I should have got rid of Survivor and kept the defense. That was stupid. If I die by one damage, I'm gonna, you know, that's. I'm just gonna get rid of Crippling Cloud. It, it, it was trying to save it, but it's like... Corpse Explosion. Ah, uh, Corpse Explosion could be good here, but... Mm, it could be good. It's just it's a problematic turn for me. Fairly problematic turn. Right, it's a really bad turn for me actually. Oh man, we need this to come sooner. This uh, incense burner. You gotta survive one turn. An incense burner comes alive. Just need one turn. Alright, so Instant Burner comes next turn. Watch them not attack me next turn. So I get Instant Burner, they're not attacking, right? I mean... Alright, at least we get a blur. Guy's down to 77. 32 is pretty insane. We need a weaken. Oof, this is rough. Okay, so I survive with this with 2 HP. I could do corpses. I could do calculate damage, try to find something, but I think I'm going to go straight for the damage and survive with 2 HP and hope for the best. Easy. All right. So, got glass knife, grand finale, tool the trade, wraith form. Uh. Sure, my camera's looking like this is like really bright. It looks like. Anyways, it's all good. Wraith form, instant burner. Wraith form, instant burner. So we do wraith form, and then we also have instant burner to cover the next intangible. That, that still feels kind of weird. I think glass knife, I guess, is the best option. With we, I think we're good on damage. I think we'd rather pick, skip here. So you, even with empty cage, we can't remove the um, necronomicon, right? Necronomicus. The Runic Pyramid allows me to hold on to things with Ice Cream, which seems to be pretty good. If I can end up getting Card Draw and Skewer, we have Necronomicon with Skewer and Runic Pyramid. That would be very good. Uh, Hovering Kai gives us more energy, but 
discarding two cards sucks because we want to be able to play more cards so that's going to be counterintuitive empty cage could get rid of the two strikes which will allow me to do a blade dance cloak and dagger and blur more often so it becomes 27 card deck and when i use my powers I want to get rid of one curse and maybe one backstab is four cards out maybe terror five cards out um Five, let's say six cards out. Plus minus two, we'll eight cards. So we'll get down to like a twenty-one card deck. And say we use piercing wheel, we done a twenty card deck basically. Twenty card deck, and we're drawing six cards a turn. So we're going to be like every three turns on average, maybe hitting cloak and dagger blade dance if I remove two cards. What's up, Lethal? How you doing, buddy? I think Pyramid could be pretty good, yes, but... Hmm. I think Pyramid has a higher ceiling. I'm going against the Waking One, okay. So for the Waking One, we have some powers, I, but I think I'm going to play... Play the Accuracy anyways, and then I guess towards the trade we don't have to play. We only have two powers. Alright, so we got Recall and the Sparkle out of the way, so all we gotta do is just focus on surviving and um, getting Sapphire Key. And we can go for an Elite or not, I don't know if we can... I like this path, okay, be right back, I have to use the bathroom, guys. Be right back. Hey, take care, Graham Cracker. Alright, what do we got here? I mean, I would like to have more energy. You know, more energy would have been really nice. Yo, Epic here with the reset of Twitch Prime four months in a row. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back to the germ pool. Oopsies. Uh, no one saw that. No one saw that. Piercing plus deflect. Deflect helps me get more cards out of my hands, right? So I don't get clogged up with Runic Pyramid. And... It also gives me Caliper. Piercing my plus is pretty nice. I think Deflect just gives me more block. Gets Doesn't clog my hand. I, I kind of like Deflect plus, but Piercing my plus is pretty clutch. Huh. I'm, I'm leaning towards Deflect plus here. Sneaky Strike? We don't have Hovering Cut. So sneaky Strike is... Oh, Sneaky Strike with Tools of the Trade? Yeah. Still, nah, it's not that, it's not that great. I think Whale has more uh, situational stuff, especially for a fight like this. And we also have uh, Blaster Stone, so Whale helps with that. Corpse Explosion is so good in this fight. Corpse Explosion is huge in this fight. We can afford to do this. Decent time for Energy Relic. Energy Pot. Yo, take care, Pure Mud. Don't get, don't get lost. Dodge and roll plus slice prepared infinite blades. Um, infinite blades with uh, with accuracy could be some way to get more damage. You think our damage is fine? I don't know. Single target our damage is fine because we have the um, terror, but. Dodge roll plus for more block. Also helps with calibers, but we have no dexterity, so it's not as good. Still, still, six and six. Pretty good. Yo, never early. Welcome in. Okay, uh, infinite blades to get more accuracy. That would make accuracy a little bit better. It helps us get more consistent damage. Versus dodge and roll for block. How do we feel our block is? I feel like our block is not that great. I think we just need to, I think we need to dodge and roll, but I can imagine infinite blades accuracy because accuracy right now just feels like eh. I mean I'll take it dodge and roll. It is better. 
Alright, we get more card draw. We got outmaneuver. So outmaneuver and ice cream plus more card draw. That's pretty good. Um, Juzu bracelet. So I think we take both of these. I don't mind removing a strike. So, I, my goal is to basically get into cloak and blade dance as often as possible. Because that's like our biggest payout damage. Jack of all trades, add two random colorless cards into your hand. Metamorphosis, shuffle five random attacks into your draw pile. They cost zero this combat. Zero cost attacks, five of them. Zero cost attacks, five of them. Hmm. Do we take infinite blades as well? Because we said we kind of want that consistent damage. Is the deck getting too bloated now? I mean, I think that we, since we bought a backflip, the deck's... I mean, buying this kind of counteracts the bloating. <coughs> Infinite Blades of Accuracy. Hmm. Juzu? I like Infinite Blades and Removal. I'm gonna try to avoid damage here, but it looks like I'm gonna take a little bit of damage regardless. So I could. Hmm. Hmm. What's better here? If we have Corpus Explosion, Corpus Explosion can kind of. I think we can do this first. Alright, get rid of one of the artifacts. Did not be able to clear this power. Oh, we hold into our hand. What am I talking about? Oh, okay. I forget that we hold into our hand, so we can play these powers at any point. Now we have trouble getting enough energy to play things, but um, I'm gonna help with that. That's 35 damage of Corpus Explosion. I just gotta block for 12 and I'm good. If I do Corpus Explosion on him and then block for 12, I'm good. I get 35 damage and then I also full block, or I could just strike, block for 12, and out maneuver. Yeah, we're having trouble playing all our cards now. We have a lot of powers as well. So concentrate is not bad with ice cream, right? And it also helps pretty well with pyramid. I think concentrate is pretty good. I uh. I mean, this is no longer as good because we have an Act 4 shop, so I don't want to lose my gold. But that does give me better first turns. I still want to keep my gold. It's too late anyways. Oh, we can't forget Sapphire Key, right? So more energy, I think that's pretty good. Uh, I can do an Elite here. Contrary is a really good, really good addition to the deck.
I think you take that really well. Get, got much better with Concentrate. Can hold on to uh, Blade Dance is pretty nice. It's pretty good damage. Doing pretty well. Ornamental Fan with Wow. Ornamental Fan Reflex. Do we want the card draw? So we have tools of trade. Reflex gives us more card draw, which I guess with ice cream you never. So we get card draw, and it also counteracts concentrate. I actually think that reflex is fine. It counteracts concentrate. It also works with outmaneuver and ice cream. Uh I think reflex could be okay in this deck. We have tools of trade. Sucker punch for more weaken. I, I do want more weaken. I, one thing I feel like we're lacking is consistent weaken. So Sucker Punch would be really useful just so I can keep the Awaken one weakened. And right now we are lacking weakened, so it might be a Sucker Punch here. So all we have is Neutralize and, um, <clears throat> and Corpse uh, Crippling Cloud. I mean, with Reflex we can assume that we're going to be cycling our deck more so we get more weakened that way, but I... I mean, I like Reflex. I, I, I like the, the synergy it has. I'm worried about the weekend. Nice. I'm gonna have to give up the relic here, which sucks, but let's hope it's not a good one. That's okay. So, the reflex might end up getting my hand a little clogged. I get some calipers here. Two calipers. Some big full hands though. So now I need to make sure I get more energy. Not sure it's gonna become pretty pretty clutch. Now we have too, too big of a hand. My hand is too big. So this is a good turn for us. We got our all our energy on this turn. So this is gonna this is gonna like this is gonna do a lot of work um, for the rest of the fight. This much energy I'm getting right now. If only I had skewer, skewer with Necronomicon. Necronomicon is just a dead relic right now. I want to get this out of the way. Alright, we have a lot of energy now, but now I just like, can't do enough with it. It's going to be a big turn for us. Big turn. So all that came from the residual amount of energy that I was building up. Order, what do you mean? What do you mean order? I played everything, uh... The ships last. The ships are more, more damaged because of accuracy. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna get skewer. Okay, so another accuracy, but that's not still not good. I mean, we have infinite blades and we have blade dance, but I think another accuracy is not what I want. 
Um, Bouncing Flash Catalyst Prepared. Prepared helps me cycle the deck a little bit more and I can hit Reflex more often, but we're already guaranteed to hit Reflex every single time we draw it because of Tool of the Trade. It looks like Escape. I mean, Catalyst, I don't think we have an enough poison. In fact, we have no poison. <laughs> and Bouncing Flash could be some damage, but I think we like what our deck is doing. If anything, the only pick I might pick up is Accuracy, just for more damage. Because we can do Accuracy, but I think we have so many powers that don't do anything on the turn you play it, so it's kind of awkward. What's up, Ancient Penguin? They've been pretty good. Well, we lost the first one. This is the second one. Uh, more energy, I suppose. It's okay. That ends up, it ends up being pretty clutch. Like upgrading these two things makes me smooth their turns and the turns I play them. I I like upgrading these cards. <laughs> I want to go to the shop, but I also kind of want to see another elite here. The first one of the day, exactly. Mm, it's gonna be Nemesis or Reptomancer. I think we need to do Reptomancer, no problem. The problem is there's two upgrades. I want to use these upgrades. So I want to upgrade the um, Infinite Blades and I kind of want to upgrade the tools just to get those cheaper. Corpus Explosion might be pretty useful as well. Not not that useful. There's a shop in Act 4, so I don't feel like I'm prioritizing the shop right now. Um. And here I, I skipped two campfires. I skip a campfire for going to that shop. We get an elite and a shop. Here we get two campfires. I mean, if we take some damage, it's okay because we have Pantograph. Yeah, so going to the shop gives us more chance to find Skewer. Exactly. Skewer would be massive for the deck. I mean, Incense Burner and uh, Felix have been amazing. Mall Bank, oh my god. That's an Accuracy Plus. <clears throat> That's an Accuracy Plus in a deck where we have Infinite Blades, Cloak and Dagger, and uh, Blade Dance. I mean, we only have one Cloak and Dagger, one Blade Dance, but still, I guess it's a skip. It's a, it is a dash. Dash is pretty good energy efficiency, like block damage per energy. Is, we have a lot of energy that we can burn, so dash also with Necronomicon. Ah, uh, we get Necronomicon Dash. Yeah, it's pretty good. No skewer for us. Some footwork. I mean, a part of me wants to get another outmaneuver. So Tactician can give us even more energy. But then what are we doing with all this energy? If we take Tactician, we'll build up the ice cream like crazy. We have Tactician, we have Reflex. I like, I like the footwork, but if we take Tactician as well... I'm just like discard, do reflex tactician, and all that stuff. Maybe get some, maybe get an acrobatics at some point. We need card draw. I mean, reflex is card draw. We also have um, two backflips. Calculated gambles could be card draw. In some backwards way. Save for next shot. We could save for next shot. I mean, I like these cards. I like tactician footwork. I went for making the deck too bloated. Because we can have a turn where it's like... Sorry for the burping, by the way. I have, like, this gas. We can have a turn where we have, like, Reflex, Tactician, and all these awkward cards all at once. It's pretty bad. That can, that can lead to some bad turns. So if we do, um, removal, we can remove and get into our, um... Better attacks more often. Don't mind removing it again. If we remove, are we feeling that we're getting rid of too many strikes? But with footwork, it's okay because then we, the blocks become pretty good. Oh, and maybe instead of removing, actually, I'll save for the next shot. Yeah, I feel okay about that. 
I'm hoping I regret not getting that tactician. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, come on. I guess that's my fault. We have pantographs, it's okay, but. This guy's, this guy's a little awkward to kill. I didn't have to keep attacking. I I fucked myself over. If I just like don't attack once, uh, that's my bad. That's probably like resettable right there. That's like probably worth it to reset just for that. But it's probably worth it to reset because of that. Yeah, this is why you don't attack when you, when you see he's not doing the curse. You should just not stop attacking. Yeah, that wasn't smart. I, there was no reason for me to keep attacking there. I wasn't like in a rush for damage because we're our damage is fine. So there was no reason for me to keep attacking. Um, I, mean, I guess we just live and learn. We'll, t we'll take it. I mean, I, I don't like the curses because we have Burning Pyramid and we already have this curse. So this, per this, cur this parasite does feel bad. Um, should I science that? Should I just want to get the curse? See if this deck can do it. I don't know if this deck can, can take it all the way though. It's it's lacking consistent block. Like we don't have. I mean, I guess instance burner could be a way to survive. Uh, we don't have malaise. Our damage is okay, but we don't have a way to like play our damage and not get punished with the two cost, two HP per card because we don't have after image. What's up, Silo? How you doing? Another footwork? Are we doing too many footworks now? I don't think so. But I could be. I got you, buddy. That's a malaise. Doggy wants to go outside one sec. I can afford to play these powers now because I've malaise them for his whole life. For me, it's worth it to just play the, power, uh, the cards because we have calipers. 
So now we're actually getting used out of calipers. So we're not holding onto our energy, but I mean, our maneuvers is allowing us to play a lot of cards per turn in which we're using our, um, all the energy into getting calipers going. So the deck's working pretty well. If we can get calipers going against the heart, we, we have a good chance. Like all this right here against the heart, that could be how we win. If we could see, the, the problem is that it took a lot of setup. So I need to make sure I can survive, I can get to this point against the heart. Because that maneuver, like cycling my deck, do all this stuff is really nice. But it takes time. And it's going to be hard for me to get, like... It's going to be hard for me to get a malaise on the heart itself, because I need to get rid of the artifacts first. Yo, Gressalor, man, welcome to the stream. Now, my lasers, I have my lasers in my deck. My lasers in my deck. Isn't it? Oh, you're fuck. You're right. My lasers from the skill pot. I don't even. Yeah. No, you're right. I don't have my lace in my deck. That's okay. It would be too hard to hit the Himalayas anyways, right? We, need, we like a skewer, but it would be too hard to hit the Himalayas. That's my ex Our damage is not as good because we don't have terror, but it's still pretty decent. Enough block to carry our weaknesses. I'm basically a very good man. I should not. I should have kept. Should have got rid of the void. We're cycling our deck like pretty quickly, right? So our deck is like 27 cards. Once the void gets out, it's like a 25 card deck. And we're going through a lot of our cards per turn. No damage healing, I know. That's a problem. I mean, our damage is really good when Terror is enacted. So, like, single target, we're fine. And we have Corpse Explosion against the Act 4 Elites. We need Skewer, though. So, Skewer would just be really nice for, um,. To dump all this energy into a big old smack. Oh, yeah, there's a card. It's called, um, Prismatic Shard. That's some bad, some bad history of Prismatic Shard. I don't know why I'm getting all this energy, because I don't need it. This fight might, might be awkward, because... Oh, that's awkward. I 
I want to get as much energy going, but we lost our our um our buffer already. The days might mess me up in this fight pretty bad. I want to get the corpse explosion. I'm not gonna block here because I want to get outmaneuver. I know that seems crazy, but I want to get corpse explosion out. Want to get the outmaneuver out, and now we can start blocking and doing that stuff. Because once we get, we just focus all our damage on this guy, and then the fight should be over. We gotta get our footworks out too. And that was a pretty good turn, right? So now we already got the like kind of an advantage. We haven't even got our footworks out. There they are. I'm gonna get Christian ones out of the way because I just want to get them out of the cycle, and then, you know, that helps me get more block. And the fight's gonna be over very soon. No, so I, I have a second setup. So part of the reason why I was gone for so long, guys, is that I wasn't able to stream consistently. I had to get a, there was a new PC, and there's a new PC now that my roommate is using, and um, so now I have a setup which the quality of the mic is a little bit worse, right? Also, I, the monitor, I have a second monitor that's like an old one. It's not that nice, but I, I mean, I can still I'm here, I'm streaming, I can see you guys. So the mic might sound a little bit different. The acoustics might be a little bit worse, but yeah, it's a new setup. So I'm actually in the room. <clears throat> and now we now we can stream longer hours. I can stream. God knows what time, 5,000 hours in the morning and at night, and we could um, be consistent and get back on the grind. So I'm just really happy now that we both can work. She can go stream and I can stream. <coughs> upgrade the footwork. Although, yeah, we're upgrade the footwork. Now, guys, Corpse Explosion has to come and carry me here. Now, Pendev is insane. Now, imagine, just imagine real quickly. That's another outmaneuver. <laughs> Oh man, it, orange spots would be really good to get rid of frail, get rid of like these potions and stuff. Okay, but Pennib is pretty insane if we got skewer. Imagine we got skewer and we had Necronomicon, Pennib, and ice cream. That right there is an, ugh. Well, no, I mean, I'm still in the, I'm mean, still in the house, right? Like so, like. I'm just in the room downstairs. Yeah, we can do drop potions for the status something that happens, it's true. Yo, Sergeant Pepper, thanks for the Twitch Prime, buddy. Welcome to the germ pool. Uh, we can remove the parasite. It's true, it's true. I'm blessed really strong. My blessed? It's a good front loader damage, right? And that front loader damage could help me set up a corpse explosion sooner. And double mind blast isn't bad. You're right. You're right about that. Double mind blast is good for setting up corpse explosion. You're not. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. That's some good damage. I want to use that damage now while, while that guy's low. And what we're going to do is try to get Corpus Explosion. So we're going to use Fear Pot Expo Corpus Explosion if we need to. Oh my god, Incense Burner is amazing. Incense Hallelujah Burner, dude. Oh my. And now we just do Corpus Explosion and we win the game.
Okay, I take that back. Not quite, just yet. Let's hold the phone. Hold the phone. We still, have, we still have the uh, buffer. Corpse explosion. Let's go. Get that out of the cycle. Okay, now we have still buffer. We have a lot of block and we have corpse explosion. And we just gotta kill that guy and we win. I guess the heart, we just had, we, I hope we have enough time to set up against the heart. Accuracy came so late. Easy. Stone calendar, okay. Whoa, okay. So we have instant burner set up for turn two of the heart. Uh, we got bullet time offered to us with runic pyramid. I think that could be okay, bullet time. Yo, d with the Twitch Prime 3 months in a row. Welcome back to the Jump Pool, buddy. Hey, man, I don't know how you did it and managed to make it look like an accident, but you did. As agreed, I left the money in a, in a bag on your back porch. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you, buddy. Are you sneaky? Sneaky strike? You think your damage is going to be worth it? Sneaky Necronomicon. Ah, uh, that does give me energy, but I think we're okay with energy. I think bullet time might help me set up, get my setup started earlier, no? I can imagine bullet time's going to be um, obsolete later on, though. It's going to end up being obsolete like very soon, very quickly. Although, it helps me get going right away in the first couple turns, so I can get my out maneuver and all that stuff out, and get energy going, and then I can be smooth sailing, hopefully. I think bullet time might help me Uh, bullet would kill double dash. Trust me, strike. Okay. Well, we need block before we do anything. Oh, we got terror right away. I'm trying to save my buffer, so I'm doing this. Oh, we got ornamental fan. Pretty good damage. First turn. One damage, no problem. I need to find a way to get rid of the wounds, but... Alright, uh, so 3 times 15, 4 times 15. Okay, that's problematic. So, what we need to do is. We need, we need to pierce the wheel those, that turn. Not getting pierce the wheel sucks, because now we lost our. Uh... Yeah, not getting pierce the wheel that turn sucks, because he also has, uh, you know. Philosopher's Stone. So we get damage with Sneaky Strike. I, I'm trying to do damage. I mean, I'm, I'm doing decent damage.
Instant Spurter's coming up in two turns. I need to survive this turn, and then we have Instant Spurter coming up. Mind Blast is pretty good damage, but I need... It's a bad turn, because I, to to, I need to survive this turn. Oh, man. If we survive this turn... We have Instant Spurter in our two turns. Mind Blast is huge, but I don't know if I survive this turn. I think we're F tier. Uh, it sucks because I take two damage per card. I need to survive this turn. We have Stone Calendar. We have, he's only halfway there. Damn. I shouldn't have ke got rid of the whale. Damn, I messed that up, huh? Let's science it real quick. Yeah, I guess I messed up with the whale. So the biggest mistake was that I didn't use face fear potion to get rid of the artifact, so I, I keep one of the whales. I, that, I think that mistake just wins me the game. And he's already vulnerable, so doing terror here first doesn't matter. Another mistake I made was not holding neutralize. We'll get better though, so we don't have to science. I want to use neutralize this there because I don't want to have to try to next turn what I'm trying to block. And here I'm trying to block as much as possible, so I'm going to hold on to my cards. Although I kind of want to get rid of infinite blades. Now we want to block as much as possible. So we can get the um, sneaky strike here. I could save the corpse potion for another thing, but we already have the crippling cloud with the uh, fear pot. Now. Oh, I... That's weird. Oh, because last time I actually got the weekend. Last time I, I, wasted, I just wasted a piercing one for no reason. Because I didn't... Like I guess I didn't realize he had, uh... He had artifacts. Yeah, last time I just wasted that. There's no reason for me to piercing one last time. I want to save as much life as possible. Although, maybe I should be pushing for damage like in, that, in those situations. Should probably push for damage. I mean, here we get Instant Spurter next turn. I should be doing Concentrate. I should be doing Concentrate, but... Hmm. I'm, I'm playing a little awkward. I should be playing Concentrate. That barely has any calipers there. Because we held up the Piercing Whale. I mean, for this turn, we're fine. But our damage is not as much. We haven't been doing as much damage. 
So this gives me 21 damage and more energy, right? But this gives me more block, and I think I'd rather... I get a little bit less damage, but I get more block, and I think that's better. Because I, I need the block coming up. <clears throat> We're going to hold on to Mind Blast. So Mind Blast might give me lethal coming up, or, or close to it, right? I actually don't want to get rid of... Because I don't want to draw. I want to get as much damage as possible from Mind Blast. I will we'll do it. It's, it's fine. And now we gotta just win here. Oh my god, so it did take two science. The deck was pretty cool though. The deck was pretty nice. Like, um, interesting deck. Towards the end, we got Necronomicon to kind of give us some value. Like, Mind Blast, Necronomicon, Dash. Like, these all performed pretty well. Like, these these three cards gave me the damage output I needed to um, maintain you know a good pace. And then ob obviously, like, Reflex Country were kind of nice. The deck worked, worked out pretty well. I think we could have done this first try if I didn't play like stupid person not, not bad not bad my blast was really clutch because it also helped me kill the elite quicker for the corpse explosion right so i the elite i kind of smoked nice cheater cheater yeah i know i wish we i wish we didn't have the science um we, we could have played that better but that not bad yeah that, that my blast was really clutch Necronomicon, Mind Blast. And we also had a Bag of Marbles. And the fact that Mind Blast was actually two costs, it's just... It's exactly what I wanted it to be. What's up? Can you guys stop fighting? Can you guys stop being so crazy? Huh? Let me, I wish you guys could see him. He's on my lap with a toy. He's like... He's on my lap with a toy because he's trying to play. Look, they're telling you, like... Come on, buddy. Relax. You wanna play? Huh? You wanna play?